Hello, manifestors. Should you ignore your 3D? A lot of people are asking this question still. I have a couple of videos where I discuss this topic, but an update is needed, I think. So let's see if you should ignore your 3D and if you should use that word ever again. In the meantime, if you are new here, please subscribe, like, and share this video so more people like you will be able to access to it. My name is Sylviane. I am a manifesting coach. If you need one-on-one, -on -one, more hands-on help to manifest your desires, please click on the link down below, manifestingwithsylviane.com. I do one-on-one -on -one and email coaching. Also, if you want to learn more about manifesting, I have a wonderful Facebook group. It's a private group, so you're safe there. You just have to answer the questions in order to be admitted. And again, all the links are down below in the description box. I see a lot of comments in my Facebook group about how hard it is to ignore your reality. So the first thing I want to tell you is that you need to scratch the word ignore for good do not use the word ignore anymore because if you are trying to ignore something that is right in your face that's not gonna work well at all for you if anything it's going to create more resistance and what you resist persists right so if you are in a crappy situation right now and you're saying to yourself oh i must ignore i must ignore i must ignore it's not going to work for you. It's going to do the opposite. Your logical mind is going to tell you, you cannot ignore it. It's right here. It's right here. In the world, do you want to ignore it? It's right here. So stop using the word ignore first and foremost. And why you don't have to ignore it? Because you've manifested it. Whatever it is, you have manifested it. So there's no need to lie to yourself saying, oh no, it's not here. It's not here. It is here. And it is here because you have manifested it. Whether or not you are conscious of it, you have manifested it. And that's why it's here. So stop ignoring it. Admit it. Admit that you have manifested it. Therefore, it's here. A better word to use is not react to it, okay? So, you know it's here, you don't ignore it, but you do your best to not react to it too much. Not reacting to something, it's not the same as ignoring. I may be aware of something very bad that has happened in my life but I do not react to it meaning I take control I take control of my thoughts and reactions I have done that many many times in my life I think I am actually good at doing this personally but I understand that you know you may not be as good as not reacting to things but guess what you can affirm that you are. There are many things that I wasn't and I affirmed to death until I became. So even though not reacting may not be your forte, like for example, it is in my case, for some reason, I've always been good at not reacting too much to my 3D somehow. But let's say it's not your forte. Well, you can start affirming. I am good at not reacting to my 3D. I am better and better at not reacting to my 3D. Convince yourself that you are good at not reacting. And this is going to help you, that alone, this alone is going to help you to become much better at not reacting to your 3D. And remembering, reminding yourself that you have manifested whatever thing that you don't want in your life. You have manifested it. This should help you not react too much. So another great tip not to react too much to your 3D is to think, well, 
this is here now because it's coming from my old men, from the old thoughts that I had, the old assumptions that I had. But I am changing this right now. Right now, I choose to think differently. Right now, I intend something completely different. Right now, I am imagining something completely different. Therefore, it has to come. It has to harden into fact. It has to manifest in your future. So remember that no matter what's going on today in your life, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same tomorrow. And this is why you should not react to it, because you know that whatever it is, no matter how bad it seems, you can change it and you start changing it right now by changing the way you think right now. Neville said, an assumption, though denied by your senses, though the world would say it is false, if you persist in it, it will harden into fact. This is the law of your own wonderful imagining. Believe it and it will become a reality. So you see, you have to persist in the assumption of whatever you do want in your 3D life. And by law, it has to become true. It has to harden into fact. And this is going to help you not to react to your 3D. So again, you do not ignore it as in pretending that it's not here because it is. Okay, it is here. It is here because you have manifested it. But instead of trying to ignore it, which will never work, by the way, because it's right there, right? You are right in the middle of it. Don't try to ignore it. But you can choose not to react to it. You can choose to be the one who is observing the thinker. Because you are not just the thinker. You are the one observing the thinker. This is who you truly are. So when you choose not to react to a situation, you remember who you truly are. You are not the thinker. You are the one who observe the thinker. This is the I am. This is the I am. You are God of your reality. And as such, you are not just this little human being who has no power, who can't control their thoughts. You can. Because you are not just a thinker again. You are the one observing the thinker. I hope this was helpful. If it was, again, subscribe, like, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.